would tell Paul Newman, I don't know many people that would immediately take their profits and say, you know what, I've had enough money, I'm going to give this all away. He was an incredibly unselfish man, and I would thank him for that. Because of him, girls in Kenya are able to get free tuition. Because of him, people have safe water to drink in underserved communities in Africa and around the world. Because of him, people are thriving and overcoming cancer because Newman's own supports like, I don't, I don't know, it's, I would say thank you, Paul. I would say thank you. I would just commend him for being a visionary um, because the work that I've been doing is seeing what he founded. The same feeling that people get when they go to camp or, you know, talk to someone who's worked at camp. It's a feeling, like I get butterflies just thinking about the impact that he had. Thank you for the sacrifices, for the late nights, um, for the frustrations, um, and for continuing to go. So um, I would just say thank you um, and that all of those things are not in vain. What's the recipe for giving back and doing good in the community? Maybe like a teaspoon of dedication, a tablespoon of respect and perseverance, a cup of what? Uh, teamwork, definitely teamwork, and a lot of passion, and a dash of optimism. If I could say something to Paul Newman right now, I would say, Paul, I hope you're proud. <laughs> <laughs>